2022 was a huge year for DDLC modding. <laughs> Ratchet Team released their final project, Project Wintermute, which was incredibly mid. Infinity Pin is being delayed 17 times due to Captain Oreo being admitted to the psych ward because he wasn't able to spend the average American's monthly wage that day on his mod. And of course, who can forget the two major controversies involving both your favorite soil stealer and Hitori Goto Stan? <laughs> yes. 2022 was a crazy ride and it would be topped off with what you can argue as the second most hyped mod ever by Neymar being released, that being Doki Doki Within. Within would be released on Halloween of 2022 with it basically being hyped up to be the Monica mod to save all Monica mods. You see, every single Monica focused mod to be released up to that point had had a bad ending of some sort causing most fans to start saying that there was a curse that Monica mods can't have good endings. So when the demo dropped for Within, the Monicans saw it as a chance to finally break the curse and have a Monica mod with a happy ending. When Within dropped, the reception at launch for it can only be described as EMR levels of controversial, with half the fans saying that this was one of the best Monica mods ever made, and the other half saying that it was a massive flop and deceived them into thinking that they were getting a mod with a happy ending. As time passed though, the general consensus for Within is that it was a solid mod, but an overall disappointment. So today, we're going to find out exactly what Within did right, where it went wrong, and ultimately, where everything went wrong. I should warn you first that there are going to be spoilers ahead for Within, so if you haven't played it, go play it right now. Link to it will be in the description. And also, you, you can go and watch a playthrough of it. I mean, I played it. You can click on that card on the top right over there, and it'll take you to the entire playlist. So, there's also that option, but if you've already played it, or you just simply do not care about spoilers, let's jump into why Within failed to live up to the hype. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey you, yes you right there, you want more Savage Central content but just can't seem to wait for new videos to be dropped? Well I got the answer for you, head on over to patreon.com forward slash Savage Central for early access to all these types of videos, as well as exclusive versions of videos that may not be able to appear on YouTube for certain videos. And while you're at it, whenever you become a subscriber on Patreon, your name gets added to the list of people credited at the end of every single one of these videos, so you will get personally shouted out as well. So again, if you want early access to all these videos, as well as exclusive versions for some of them, and as well, get personally shout out at the end of every single video. Make sure to head on over to patreon.com forward slash Savage Central. So that way you can get your fix today. Oh yeah, baby! Within, as you can probably already tell, is a Monica focused mod where you and Monica bond over y'all shared interest in music and eventually get together. <laughs> The premise of the mod revolves around Monica trying to overcome her depression while continuing to uphold the image of this reliable and infallible person. Basically Sayori, but like, nowhere near as good as Sayori. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. Oh yeah, plot twist. Monica's big problem is that she's depressed. This is supposed to be Exit Music Monica Edition, so you should know exactly where this is going. You can't keep getting away with it! You can't keep getting away with it! Mod starts off as bland and vanilla as you can get without just straight ripping off DDLC. Sayuri tells you to go to the club, and you go. The difference is, is that when MC sees Monica, he instantly turns into the biggest simp on the planet. Although, in my opinion, my man's MC went after the wrong woman because Monica doesn't even compare to the of this mod, mommy, 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 Monica. She can have all my children, straight up wife material. It's back! It's back! But getting back on topic, MC, by the grace of both God and plot armor, is able to somehow snag Monica, even though he has so little res, he makes Dirt Thief look like Andrew Tate out there solely because Monica is just that down bad for him for some reason. Also because the mod needs to happen. 
I swear, if you take a shot for every time MC mentions his cheeks getting red or him getting flustered, you would surely die of alcohol poisoning by the end of the first act. <laughs> Speaking of taking shots for things that happen repeatedly throughout the mod, I decided to take a shot for every single instance the word gentle or gently appeared in this mod, which I would highly advise against doing unless you want to die. Now, I was doing it with Mountain Dew shots because I had better sense than to whip out the Jack Daniels for a DDLC mod, but even with Mountain Dew, I felt like I was gonna develop type 2 diabetes by the end of it with the absolute asinine amounts of sugar I was consuming. I went and actually counted the amount of times the word gentle or gently was said, and the final tally was... 103! 13 of those were during the final Monica rooftop scene at the end of the mod. But overusing some words can be excused, especially in a mod the length of Within, which has an average runtime of 15 hours. However, what can't be excused is the insane amount of typos and even complete grammatical fuck-ups throughout the entire mod. I couldn't go a single day in Within without experiencing at least one. Although, it was more likely that more than one would appear, and at certain points in the mod, there were errors in every other line. It got so bad that I had a running theory while I was playing it, that someone just went into the script and just picked lines of dialogue at random and intentionally removed a word from them because some of the errors I couldn't and still can't fathom someone actually making at all. I swear you're only one of us that has this much faith in me. I criticized Encore for having quite a few typos, but Within blows Encore out of the water with how many it features and is not even close. As I said earlier, Within has an average runtime of 15 hours, although I would describe the 15 hour experience as 10 hours of actual story and 5 hours of MC describing his daily routine over and over again, or random things happening around him that doesn't actually matter. As a result, Within felt like a drag to get through. Me playing with N felt like a job that I was clocking in to a 9 to 5 instead of something that I wanted to do. Where I was seriously actually thinking of all the things I could have been doing while I was recording and slash streaming myself playing it. Within would have seriously benefited from having a lot of the fluff trimmed off to make it a much better experience to the reader. It is a visual novel after all. I don't need to have every single thing that's happening explained to me in thorough detail when some of the shit you could just show me. Since I'm in rant mode now, let's talk about the f***ing park scene. <laughs> now, the scene itself is really good with Monica finally breaking down a Sayori and Sayori comforting her throughout. It would be, in my opinion, the second best part of the entire mod if it wasn't for the f***ing background track ruining it. Uh, the vibe that I get from the scene itself and the vibe I get from this track are completely different. She then holds me tighter. She's shaking. Bro, I, I, why is this like upbeat positive music, bro? Just playing over this like emotionally like charged moment, this like super sad moment. And it's like, damn, I'm just vibing out here. I don't know, it just completely ruins any tension that's supposed to be in this scene. This is supposed to be the first real important scene that the mod have been building up to up to this point. I just don't get the logic to play something other than a melancholy piano track here. It completely ruined the mood that was set and I didn't expect a mistake like this from a guy who is a music producer. I'm just gonna run with a theory that Bass Pawn accidentally set this track as the one to play instead of the worst alternative, that this was intentional. Anyways, moving on! The soundtrack itself is actually pretty good. Quite a few of the songs are just Daft Punk covers as I've been told by the more musically informed and I think they sound pretty good. Aside from the track played during the park scene which in my opinion is actually the weakest track of the bunch, the soundtrack for Within is solid. It's not on par with Ego Death or Exit Music, but it does what it needs to do for the most part, and I'll give it credit where credit is due. The R and CGs are where Within truly shines. Stormblaze, Cert, and I pro, pro, uh, these names up on screen here. Um, I'm probably mispronounced one of those, so those guys on screen 
uh, they made this stuff. And you know what? Can we get a round of applause for these guys? They did a fantastic job on this. They did an amazing job on these CGs. And are these are generally some of the best CGs I've ever seen in any mod ever. So again, round of applause. Also, shout out Stormblaze again for making the Mommy, 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 Mommy sprite as well as the Omni-Man sprite. You made Monica's mom one of the greatest MILFs on this planet and her father is literally Omni-Man. You cannot make this up. This is one of the greatest things in modding history. Also, shout out these guys for their contributions as well. The art in this mod straight up carries and is literally the reason that Within is not a D-tier disaster. The thing that makes or breaks a mod like Within is the relationship between the characters, specifically the relationship between the protagonist and whoever they're dating. EMR is a prime example of how not to portray a relationship in a relationship focused mod, which again, I made a review on. You can go check that out after this. Within doesn't fall into the same traps that EMR did and actually gives Monica and the MC a lot of chemistry between one another. There isn't a moment where I sat there and questioned why are these two together at all? As a result, it leads to some interesting moments between the two, such as when they're talking about their shared interest in music. Wait a minute. Within is just Bass Pun's Monica fantasy! Hey yo, what the fuck? Okay, think about it. Think about it for a second. The MC is an aspiring music producer who gets with Monica as a result of them both loving to create music. Bass Bond is a music producer who wrote and programmed the entire mod himself. Bruh. The MC is just a blatant self-insert. <laughs> However, I won't give this too much flack since if I didn't know who wrote Within, then I would have never been able to guess that the MC was just a self-insert. So, I'll actually give props for being able to actually pull that off since the MC has an actual personality. But Monica and MC's relationship is pretty good. It's nice to see it develop at a slow and steady pace rather than have the MC jump balls deep into those walls within a few hours. Seeing them go from barely being able to talk to one another to eventually being affectionate in public and seeing each step of that development really nice and I think was executed pretty well. What wasn't executed well, however, was the whole premise of this mod. The way you start to realize that Monica is depressed is through random perspective changes going from MC to her that happen at the end of each day. The amount of times that this happens is enough to give anyone whiplash and you may not even realize that a change of perspective has even happened the first couple of times because it just happens without warning. These random Monica moments only last for like a minute or two before you switch back to MC, causing even more confusion on first playthrough. Monica's depression itself is represented alright, with her depression being caused by the immense amount of stress she's under to please others and to meet expectations of those around her. Within does a good job of humanizing Monica in a way that few other mods have been able to. It's until you get introduced to Omni-Man over here that the story starts to derail and derail pretty fast. Monica's dad is supposed to be the dad Suki of Within. His only defining trait is that he's an abusive jackass towards his entire family and is one of the reasons for Monica's depression. But what makes Omni-Man different from dad Suki is that he doesn't want to rule over Monica with an iron fist like dad Suki does in exit music and EMR but instead wants her out of his life and as far away from him as humanly possible. What? As a result, Omni-Man doesn't pull off being an opposing antagonist and instead feels more like a Disney villain, not even the good kind. He expresses multiple times to Monica herself how he wants her gone and even attempts to ship her off to the States to get her as far away from him as humanly possible. The two of them get into a fight about this and Dad Suki Wannabe gives Monica that Chris Brown special. He then gives her the option to take his offer to go to America and still be in contact with home or refuse and be cut off entirely. Now, I'm just saying, if I'm Monica, who is 18 by the way, and my abusive father tells me to leave, I'm not hesitating for one damn second, I'm packing my bags and getting the hell out of there. But you gotta remember that this is exit music, but with Monica. So you know she chose the secret low tier god option and did the juice world in her room right after. It's 
bad enough that Monica's brain gets shut off so that she doesn't realize that she can literally just walk out the door. Bruh. But the mod doesn't even focus on Monica during this moment. You don't even get to see her thought process as she's about to game end herself and instead get a perspective change back to MC. You end up finding out that she demonetized herself when mommy 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 calls you to break the news. You get no insight to what Monica was thinking. You get no shocking CG. The only thing you get for what is the turning point of the entire mod is the equivalent of she's dead lol. This is up there with one of the biggest back bumbles I've ever seen in a mod and one of the reasons why I think Within ultimately failed. MC's Act 3 arc is the strongest part of the story of Within. After Monica's death, MC takes up Yuri's hobby as a wrist violinist in an attempt to cope with her passing. This is where Within needs to be overly descriptive and actually kinda works. This act is a slow burn of you in the perspective of a guy whose life is crumbling around him and taking the time to show that progression from him cutting himself out of curiosity to it developing into a full blown addiction that nearly kills him is low key kinda disturbing and an amazing example of storytelling that modders should be taking notes on. That doesn't mean that act 3 is perfect however. It still suffers from being way longer than it needs to be and would have benefited from being trimmed down to something a bit more digestible. But that's a problem with the mod as a whole and Act 3 is the best part of the mod without question and is the biggest point in favor of this mod. It's just a matter of whether or not you're willing to sit through nearly 10 hours of painful mediocrity just to get to it. Okay, so we talked about most of the important things of Within. Now let's talk about some of the not so important things that I just happened to notice upon my first playthrough of it. Within suffers from the fatal disease known as being painfully British. The amount of British slang used in this mod was so high that even British people were pointing it out saying like, yo, this is too much. Here's a small compilation of all the British moments that I found in Within. A text from MUM! Look down to MUM! Much like said yesterday, MUM! Bruh! Natsuki is by far the best character in this mod not named mommy 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 and it's not even close. Natsuki's entire purpose in Within was basically to say exactly what I was thinking when I was thinking it and it was specifically this scene in Within that solidified her as best girl once again. But just know that I'll always believe in you. In response, Monica rests her hands on my waist and starts to pull me towards her. Yeah, yeah, Natsuki, I understand why you're a little pissed, bro. She closes her eyes and parts her lips. <laughs> they just hold up. I got, I got, I got to do the voice, bro. I got to do this. Will you two just fuck already? Well, I'm just going to go right ahead and say it. This is indeed based, and if I dare say furthermore, which for what it's worth I do in fact dare, quite red-pilled as well. Koda Noah plays the role of Monica's best friend outside of the club and- Actually, wait a second, why am I even telling you this? This is- it, it doesn't matter because it's Koda Noah! I mean, you would have thought that modders would have learned not to use Koda Noah in their mods because, you know, the whole Koda Noah curse and everything, but no, they for some reason have feel the urge to put Koda Noah into their mods, despite basically every single mod not being a shitpost mod, having Koda Noah in it has basically flopped tremendously. I mean, I mean, we could take a look at, uh... Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. What the fuck were they thinking? I'm just saying, maybe if Koda Noah wasn't in Within, Things might have turned out a bit better. I don't know, that's just me. I personally wouldn't put Koda Noah in your mod. People are out there saying that there's some sort of Monica mod curse, but people seem to ignore the very obvious curse that's out there currently plaguing DDLC mods. That being the Koda Noah curse. Within was a mod with near infinite potential for what it could have been. Monica fans expected it to be the saving grace of Monica mods and these absurdly high expectations would be its ultimate downfall. 
within itself is an okay and average mod, which is better than a lot of mods currently out there. But like with Encore, it wasn't one or two things that killed it, but instead a multitude of minor mistakes that added up over time that seriously affected the quality of the mod. Now this was Bath Bond's first DDLC mod, and I didn't want to be overly negative when talking about it since I'm sure he learned a lot about mod making while making within, but at the same time, I'm not gonna just sit here and ignore the mistakes that were made. I look at within and I see a mod with a ton of untapped potential that would have benefited from a little more time in the oven to iron out the mistakes and maybe a more condensed draft of the story to make within less bloated. I could seriously see within getting a redux within the next couple of years and I think it's one that is definitely deserving of it, even more so than exit music and I would love to see that at some point in time. Also, just as some general advice for all modders, get someone to proofread and playtest your mod before you release it. Quality assurance goes a long way, my friend. Within could have been an S tier mod that would have been up there with the greats of DDLC modding, but it was still able to do what most mods wish that they could do, most modders dream that they could do. And that's get the attention of the entire DDMC as a whole. And, well, with the over 3,000 downloads to date, I think Bass Pond is sleeping sound, knowing that in the end, his mod was a success. And with all that being said, I think it's fair to put Doki Doki Within, right next to Encore, in the B tier. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Uh, I've been looking to get more of this type of content out and it actually feels great to finally get something out like this And of course if you like the video make sure to hit that like button You know it also helps me out in the algorithm as well It helps push the video out so you'd be doing me a huge favor right there And of course if you like this type of content you want to see more like it and you ain't subscribed yet Hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell even though that bell doesn't really do anything these days I just really like telling you to hit it so that way you won't miss when I upload another one of these videos. And with all that being said, as always, until next time, so long comrades.